Hi, my name is Daniel McKinley, and I'm here at Zia Comics today, and I'm going to teach you how to play the two to four player game Truffle Shuffle from AEG. To play Truffle Shuffle, you'll first want to shuffle up this deck of cards. Now you'll notice that there are four different types of backs on there. Purple, pink, green, and yellow. Or maybe orange. I'm not sure. You want to shuffle these up and ignoring the backs. Then you'll want to lay it out in this pattern. This will be the same pattern regardless of the number of players. And they will always follow this of the top row having four cards and being face up. Then the second row, five cards and face down. And then adding one more card each time, face up, face down, face up, face down, until you have nine cards. Then, based on the number of players, you'll add a number of bonus tokens to the bottom. In a three-player game, you'll add one two-value coin and two ones. In a three-player game, you'll add another two-value coin. And in a four-player game, you'll add another one-value. These are bonus coins that will be given to the players as they complete different orders. On your turn, it's very simple. You're going to take a card or play one of the two special action cards, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then, at the end of your turn, you may fulfill one order. So, to take a card, you look at any of the cards that are available. If they are face down, you will take them, and you may look at the numbers on the back. That, those are added to your hand. There is no hand limit during the game, but at the end of the round, the hand limit is the number of players. So, an example, playing with three players, you'll discard the three cards at the end of the round. Prior to that, you can still make orders and discard the cards accordingly. So, let's say on this very first turn, I would like this pink card, I'll take it up, and I'll place it into my hand, keeping the number secret to me. Obviously, if it's face up, the number won't be secret, but you'll still be taking that card. The numbers that are on the cards are numbered from 1 to 5, or they have special abilities, which we'll talk about very soon. Then it is the next player's turn to take a card and then fulfill an order. Part of the rules for taking cards is you can only take cards that do not have any other cards that are on top of it. So in this example, you can only take any of the face down ones. But if a player on a later turn takes this card, that lets this one become available for another player on a future turn. So let's say we take this, and then the next player has all of these options of cards. So you can see how the card options will change based on what becomes available and which ones are picked. Now let's talk about fulfilling orders. At the end of your turn, you can fulfill an order. This is similar to poker if you're familiar with it, but if not, you can trade in one card, regardless of the number, of each of the colors. So one pink, one purple, one orange, and one green. And that will give you three coins. You can also do four cards of the same color for three coins as well. You can do a small straight, which is four cards, either one, two, three, and four, or two, three, four, and five for four points. You can get a small straight flush, which means that it's a, the same two through four, I'm sorry, one through four or two through five of all the same color for six points. A large straight, which is all five numbers, one to five for six points. A large straight flush, which is one to five of all the same color for nine points. Or you can trade in what's called a number set. The number that's on the card is how many copies you have to have of that card. So you can trade in one one or two twos or three threes. They'll be worth one point per card. So if I trade in three threes, I get three points. However, if they're all part of the same color, so let's say I do three threes that are all pink, then I would get twice that. I would get six points. You must do a minimum of two cards to do that. All of those are listed right here. Now some of these cards have special abilities. You may have already noticed this one that has the diamond shape on it. That means that this counts as a three of any color of your choosing. There are also ones, like this one, where you can discard it to change the number of any other card in your hand, make, giving you a straight or number sets, any options like this. 
There's a take two, which we'll be talking about in a moment. And there's also a skip three. There's a few other cards as well, like change color. And there's ones that have, like this one. This counts as any other number of that color that from your hand. So you can play it as part of a set or any other number. Those are all a bunch of different options. Well, let's talk about the take two. If you play a take two, instead of taking a card from your turn, you discard this from your hand, and then you may take two cards. And finally, there's one more special card we haven't gone over, and that's a skip and a take three. When you play the skip, you skip your turn for that round. But your next round, you get to take three cards, one after the other, until the end of the round. At the end of the round, once all, once all the cards have been picked up from the middle, and all the orders have been placed that they want to for this round, then you discard down to the round limit, and then a new round is dealt out, also dealing with the new coins. I haven't gone over the bonus chips yet because I wanted you to understand how to make an order, but the first player who places an order gets the number of points listed there plus the highest valued bonus chip that's right here. Those go until those are depleted as well. Finally, after three rounds, all of the points are totaled and the player with the most points is the winner. And that's how you play Truffle Shuffle. As you can see, this is a neat follow-up to their massive hit point salad. I can see that it's still in the same theme of food, made by the same designers and from the same publisher, but it's a very different take on how you gather the cards, how you have set collection, and different ways to get points to it. So, if you would like to try it out, come by Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico, where we can teach you how to play Truffle Shuffle. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG.